Hi, I'm Missy Henriksen with the National Pest Management Association. Today we'll talk about one of the less pleasant aspects of summer, stinging insects, and how to avoid them. Wasps, hornets, and bees can all sting, but they're not the same insects. Wasps are long, slender, and hairless. They often build nests on branches, porch ceilings, above door frames, and under eaves. They aren't typically aggressive, but they may sting if disturbed or to defend a nest. If there's a nest on your property, don't try to remove it yourself. Call a licensed professional to take care of it. Hornets often become a problem in the later part of summer. They can look like wasps, but they're far more aggressive. They'll attack anyone who invades their space, and their stings are particularly painful. Unlike honeybees, hornets can sting multiple times. They often build nests in branches and on houses and sheds. If you see a nest on your property, keep away and call a pest professional to safely remove it. Honeybees, bumblebees, and carpenter bees are all common bee species. When not in a beekeeper's hive, honeybees live in colonies in hollow trees, and as pollinators, they're highly beneficial to surrounding plant life. Bumblebees are bigger and usually nest in the ground. They can sting more than once. Carpenter bees look similar to bumblebees, but they're not very dangerous to humans and they rarely sting. They can, however, damage wood structures if not controlled. Stinging insects send more than half a million people to the hospital every year, so always exercise caution if you do come across one. Don't make sudden movements and don't swat at it. Stay still and don't provoke it into stinging. If you are stung, carefully remove the stinger and seek medical attention promptly. If you find a stinging insect nest on your home or your yard, don't try to remove it yourself. A licensed pest professional can help solve the problem.